So for rice and peas, I'm going to need scallion. This is Jamaican scallion. I'm going to need pepper, uh, coconut, garlic, some thyme, some pimento seeds, and these are light red kidney beans. You can use the dark ones if you choose. I prefer the light red ones. And of course, my old faithful Tilda basmati rice. This is the white rice. I love Tilda rice. So today I'm gonna be making rice and peas. So I am going to, I measured like one cup of my light red kidney beans. So I am gonna wash this, drain it, and then I'm going to boil it. In the meantime, I'm gonna break my coconut and use my blender to just um, process it. So I am gonna rub these beans and wash the hell out of them. Also, I'm gonna check in the meantime to see if any of them are bad and then throw them out. So sometimes bad peas are packaged in here. And while I'm washing the peas, I have my Dutch pot on with some water. I'm going to boil it with, I have three cloves of garlic and I have some pimento seeds. Usually when I'm making rice and peas, I boil these with my peas. So. I'm going to put them in there until I finish washing my peas and I'm going to pour them in also. I'm going to use my knife and open the plastic part. And take it off. So I broke my coconut and it's nice and pretty. I'm probably going to eat half of this because <laughs> it tastes good. Now I'm going to use this knife and I'm going to take it out and I'm going to blend it. Now in the meantime, my peas is nice and drained so I'm going to pour it in my water that's boiling. And I'm going to cover it and let it boil. Taking the coconut from the shell and I'm washing them and then I am going to cut them up and put them in the blender with some water and then, and then I strain it off and juice it so there is my coconut milk. So I've cut them up that small. I have some water in my blender and I'm going to put them in. say juice coconut this is what Jamaicans do so this is a coconut milk that I'm gonna use to cook my rice and peas I can't squeeze it right now cuz I'm the one recording so I'm gonna squeeze it out coconut milk after I finish So I got three cups and trash is right there. I could probably get more, but I don't think I'm going to need so much. So let me check on my peas. I still have a lot of water in there and sometimes it takes a while. So it's been boiling now for what, 20 minutes? Yeah, it's going to take 
a little longer. So I usually check to see if they're soft. So I would squeeze it. But these are not soft yet. So I'm going to let it boil some more. And if I have to add water, if it's still not boiled, then I do add water. I am waiting for my rice, my um, my peas to cook. I'm going to go ahead and wash my rice. This is three and a half cups of rice. They always say you should wash your rice until the water is no more white and cloudy. Right? But also... From packaging and all of that, all the dust and everything, you got to wash it out. So, see how white this water is? I'm going to use my other hand, so I'll be right back. So, this is wash number three. a little bit cloudy but it's not as white as it was before gotta make sure it's nice and clean can't show you how I wash my rice properly because I'm recording this myself so I use both hands and I rub the grains together you can't be too you know careful when it comes to rice because you have to make sure it's nice and clean So there it is. <laughs> nice and clean. Nicely washed. Ready for the pot. So my peas is boiled them down. Some more water. So I am going to check to see if it's soft enough. Okay, now my peas cook. Nice and hot. Oh, now my peas cook, so it's not even fully cooked. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my coconut milk. I'm going to add all of it. Just some. I am going to stir it up. seasoning which is a piece of scallion uh, green pepper and some thyme I'm gonna put it in there and I am going to cover it and let it boil this is this is kind of what your coconut supposed to look like in your pot as we Jamaicans would say, you know it's dry and nice. Now, I am going to turn this down a little. And I'm going to add my rice and some... Actually, I'm going to add some salt. And I don't measure my salt. I just uh, put a little salt in there. I'm not really... A, love salt person so it's probably a teaspoon so you typically add your rice when your coconut milk is curdled on the side and looks oily and whatever or we would say 
looks like it's cooked. Now I'm going to add my rice. Now with rice and peas, you don't really need to have your rice on high boil all the time. What you do once you pour your rice in, you just need that amount of water on top. See, it's not really a lot. Um, you're going to make sure it's completely stirred in, your peas and your rice is combined. And then you're going to cover it up and let it boil maybe for less than a minute. Right, so see it's starting to boil. I'm gonna cover it. See now this is what I mean when I say come to a boil. This is my method of doing it. I give it a stir again. Right? I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna turn my stove on low and that's it. And I'm going to time it to give you guys an idea of how long I let it steam. And that's it. Now call it 30 minutes. And I'm going to take my pot, cover off my rice and peas. And this is what it looks like. Okay. So always use a fork to stir your rice and peas. No. It's pretty much cooked. So I'm just going to turn my stove off and leave it on there. I think the reason why they recommend a heavy pot to make rice and peas is because rice was made to steam and not boil so you know when it's in a heavy pot and it's covered it gives a better it, it gets a better heat to steam than if it's in a pot that's really thin and you know you have to keep turning your stove down or taking it off early and cause it to burn all right so here you go I timed it and that's 30 minutes right there so that's the rice and peas and it's finished so as you can see it's cooked the rice grains are cooked the peas is cooked everything is cooked